This is Marty Stewart with SeminarSecrets.com. You can hear the complete version of this big seminar interview by going to www.SeminarSecrets.com. Again, folks, I'd like to welcome everyone to the conference call today. My name is Armin Morin, and today's call is going to be with Declan Dunn. And Declan is a uh, tremendous marketer. You're going to hear a lot of great information, and I'm sure he'll be joining us with us uh, joining us very shortly here. <clears throat> uh, Declan, uh, have you joined us yet? Not yet. So we're going to kind of I'm going to be the filler until Declan gets here. What we're going to do is uh, is this is uh, you know folks you know the the seminars coming like I said are just just around the corner, and there's going to be a lot of uh, great speakers, a lot of great information that's going to be shared at the seminar. Uh, as many of you know, you've uh, heard many of the speakers on these conference calls. Uh, one of the benefits, and you know, I'm going to make this offer again today, and so I'll tell you right up front, is uh, of being there at the seminar. Is I'm also going to give the people uh, that are attending the call, and I'm going to extend my offer I made the other day <coughs> till uh, the end of the weekend. And that is, if you sign up for the seminar by the end of the weekend, what I'm going to do is uh, actually give you the resale rights to all these calls. Now, the resale rights to all these calls mean a lot of different things for you. Uh, first of all, if you look around the marketplace, you're going to notice that there's not a product out there, an audio product, or, or I can't think of any other product that has all 14 of these guys on it at the same time. Now, it brings up when I said guys, and that's a that's a good import, uh, that's an important question I want to bring uh, bring up that I've received often is that people have said and have emailed me and said, you know, there's not a lot of women on uh, your your testimonials. And uh, we do have some women on the testimonials. Um, we also have, uh, obviously, plenty of women that are be there. Um, I've, been, I've always tried to get an, a woman as far as a marketer to, to speak at my seminar, um, but I haven't found one that's comfortable with speaking in public as of yet. Uh, and so that's part of the question. So if you're a woman listening to this call today, um, there's an opportunity for you. <laughs> if, uh, if, with, if you have a proven track record as far as marketing goes, you are a wanted commodity in the speaking industry as far as Internet marketing training. So, uh, so think about that. That's always something. Uh, again, we're going to be hopefully talking with Declan today, and Declan's going to be talking about a lot of great information uh, regarding uh, internet marketing, and again, he's worked with many top clients. Uh, some of those clients you uh, may have uh, heard of, some companies like Priceline, uh, VStore, uh, ProFlowers, MotherNature.com, Art.com, uh, Network Solutions. I mean, I think everyone's heard of them. Uh, Toshiba, AAA of Northern California, um, Refer It, Cash Pile, Link Share, uh, and the list goes on and on and on. And he, I mean, really, I mean, I, when I say on and on, I mean I'm not exaggerating one bit. Uh, just, just to give you a few more, uh, link share, one only, uh, Office Max, Ask Jeeves, I Want.com, Pets.com, CNET, GoTo.com, Zoom, uh, Planet RX, Travelocity, CJ, and, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a whole bunch of others. American Express, that's another one that's, uh, that he's worked with previously in the past. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, he's just a tremendous marketer, and, and again, I'm really happy that, uh, he agreed to uh, be one of our speakers at the big seminar. But Declan, have you joined us yet? Sure have, Armin. How you doing? Hey, you had me worried for about two seconds there, but I knew you'd make it. <laughs> yeah, they put me on hold for a second. Sorry about that. Oh, glad no problem. Well, I'm glad you made it, folks. Again, you know, as I mentioned, you know, Declan has worked with a lot of these companies that I was just mentioning uh, previously. And, uh, you know, the thing is that you're going to find out about Declan is Declan knows 100% what he's, what he's talking about. Uh, there is no doubt by the time that you're finished with this call today, um, you're going to learn a lot of information. Uh, about Declan and uh, and what he does, he does it from a unique standpoint. Now, Declan, you know one of the questions I've asked every one of our uh, speakers on this call is, uh, what did you do before the internet? Actually, what I did before the internet is I was uh, working in a crazy business called multimedia. I love trying to put together uh, CD-ROMs and video and audio and trying to put together these um, very much focused on training and educational presentations. But frankly, those things turned out to be like making a movie. I mean, it would take you years to create a CD that maybe 200 people could play, and it probably would work on about 20 of those people's computers. Right. 
And then I saw, it was really funny, I mean, I was working hard trying to do the programming, and I mean, I say that real lightly because I haven't a clue about programming, graphic arts, everything like that. In 1994, when I saw Netscape come out, after uh, the first little browsers, but I saw Netscape come out and I said, this is going mainstream, and I moved all my energies to the Internet. Now, as opposed to, I mean, I shouldn't say as opposed to, but um, you worked with some pretty major companies out there. Uh, some of the companies I mentioned earlier uh, that are your clients, and uh, obviously they're coming to you for several different reasons. And you you've also have authored several books, uh, several well-known books, uh, on the subject of marketing online, uh, especially uh, geared around the affiliate arena as well. I mean, how long have you been involved as far as, um, for example, let's talk about one of the most popular books. In fact, uh, I, I own every one of your books, um, but Winning the Affiliate Game. I mean, that's a, that's a well-known book. I think almost everyone has it. If they don't, I believe they definitely should have that book uh, in their library as far as marketing. But now, what made you start to see that affiliate marketing was going where it's uh, where it's even heading today. Well, what's interesting about affiliate marketing, Armand, is um, like many people who are starting out in in a business. In the early days, I was doing a lot of writing and a lot of promoting of different internet marketing ideas. In fact, it was funny. I was searching on my name recently on Google, and I found an old review of my site, which was so spot on. But uh, it's it's always funny to look back and go, <laughs> I was making the mistakes I teach about now. I was actually running a site, and he goes, I, I went to that site and didn't know whether I should sign up for his newsletter, buy his director of sales training program, which is a training program I did uh, when I did uh, a tour nationwide with Jonathan Mizell and Marlon Sanders, yeah. or um, read his other articles. He goes, this guy's making me do three things at, at once. And I really learned that I needed to focus. And in 98, I started seeing a trend coming up that was affiliate programs. And, and quite honestly, a lot of it was to be able to focus myself on a specific niche because when you're promoting yourself or when you're trying to build an identity, you need people have to have, a, I like to call it a little box that they can point at and say, great, he does the affiliate programs. He's the affiliate guru. And I went out with my partner. Um, actually, it was funny. In early 98, September 98, Michael Henderson, Patrick Anderson of AdNet said, why don't, we, why don't we work together? Maybe we'll even put our companies together. But we both said, hey, let's figure this thing out. And what we ended up doing was doing the promotions first for the Complete Insiders to Guide to Affiliate Programs, which is where I taught people how to run an affiliate program. Right. Then I started going to the conferences and speaking on affiliate programs, and I saw this industry that made total sense because buying ads is one part of the game, but paying on performance, I mean, reseller programs are very traditional. So I went and I interviewed the top people and like uh, anybody could figure out, it, there's one Amazon, but Amazon has what, like some hundred, something like 400,000 affiliates? Right. So I created the sequel called Winning the Affiliate Game, which was just a huge hit record. I mean, we cleared about a half million on that in the first year, and we used that as a seed funding to build our company, because once we did that, Patrick Michael and I said, God, why don't we just put our companies together? And so we put a little company together where we have fun, good people we work with, and, if, again, it's sort of based on affiliate programs because we didn't put our company together till we proved the thing was worth doing, and it was fun. And that's what I love about affiliate programs because they were always a way to say, hey, I got a great idea, but I don't have a ton of money. Let me try to see if I can make this work, make a deal, make other people money, turn it into a really, really win-win proposition, and then when I make that, I can, of course, go out and buy my own ads and things like that. So affiliate programs, to me, were just a no-nonsense way and a part of a marketing arsenal that's really entrenched in the traditions of direct marketing. Now, with uh, with affiliate programs, obviously we've seen a lot of changes in, over the years um, in, in different respects, people trying it different ways, people uh, running them different ways, pe obviously affiliate software getting better and better as time goes on, and it, it's still getting better uh, even today. Uh, what, what, I mean, what do you think as far as a, a marketer goes? Let's, let's Let's take it from two aspects. Let's talk about affiliate programs from the affiliate point of view, and then from uh, a company point of view. Uh, what I mean, what do you feel that the, the biggest mistake most affiliates are making out there in the marketplace? The biggest mistake most affiliates are making is that the masses try to think that they're going to be somehow buying and selling traffic. And what what I've seen the best affiliates do is really focus on a specific skill base, and not try to be a master of all trades. Because I'm a big fan, Armin, 
of you're going to know one thing and know it well, like per-click search engines are just an art that, frankly, I've tried and have never mastered. Right. I know it's not rocket science, but, you know, there's certain things you do well and ones you don't do well. So we actually hire that out, but I know a lot of great affiliates who do nothing but buy the right keywords and even the real secret sauce, figure out which one's monetized. So I'd say most affiliates focus on a variety of skills or try to develop a website where they think people will come. And when you're marketing, really nowadays, I think it's changed dramatically because people have been proven on the Internet not to be surfing around anymore. In fact, they nest in certain sites. And if right. you're lucky enough to build a good following, I'm not against websites, but I think a lot of affiliates think, oh, I have to build a website and tell them this and tell them that, and then I'll sell them something. What you want to do is be a, that's sort of a content model that I think for most affiliates, there are exceptions, but most that's not a good model. Most affiliates who are really good either focus on per-click search engines, that's a skill. They do email and do acquisition of email, which is something my company does tremendously well. We send out like 200 million emails a month as one of our channels. That's a great way to do it, and we do it right, by the way. We're not killing you. That's a great way to develop a skill. Those who are sort of inside a website hoping people will come endlessly to them, that's the ones that I feel are making an old mistake, because I think in the old days, in the early days, the people would like to surf a lot more. They'd look around a lot more. But gosh, they are proven to be nesting in certain sites, and unless you have a lot of strength of content and energy to get people to come to your site repeatedly, I think the best thing is to try to figure out which are the best-selling affiliate programs and what works. For example, guys who do dating services, the Match.com, Yahoo Personals folks, what they do is they create a single web page or two or three, like a mini site as we like to call them, around a specific subject and focus like crazy putting traffic to it from per-click search engines primarily. That's a nice business that you can replicate. Now, you know, before we move on to the, the company point of view, uh, you know, one, I just wanted to make a comment for people and uh, is that, you know, Declan, I don't know if you know this part, but um, Ken McCarthy had sent me a videotape of you, and I believe it was in 1996 or 1997. Yeah, 96. 96. And, uh, you know, I had a friend of mine that was watching that videotape while he was at my house here. And uh, he, was say, you know, he was saying, well, you know, that's some really good information. And then, then I had to actually tell him when it was actually videotaped. It was actually in 1996 because what was interesting to me when I, when I viewed that videotape was those same principles that you're talking about and the strategies that you're talking about on that tape in 1996 are the same principles and strategies that people are talking about today. I mean, if you, if you gave me that videotape today and you told me it was recorded last week, I, would have, I wouldn't have never known the difference. I mean, that, that's what impressed me. So what I'm saying is, is, is really a, just a huge compliment is that you were so far ahead of the game back in 1996, uh, and, and now people are just really trying to catch up with, with that aspect of it. But, the, again, the, the question comes back to is that in marketing, especially online marketing, many people think, you know, we've all heard the phrase that the Internet changes so fast and it's hard to keep up with it. But, uh, again, proving my point, though, is that the principles that you were talking about in 1996 are the same principles that are still valid and applicable today. So principles really don't change that much on the Internet. I mean, am I accurate in saying that? I, I totally agree. In fact, I think that's one of the big um, problems that people face. They buy into the Internet changes so fast and nothing's good here today, tomorrow. What they're missing is that we're in a tradition of direct marketing, and that's just my basis. And, and quite frankly, that tape, when I began, Armin, I mean, I was the most clueless person about direct marketing. I couldn't, I couldn't sell anything. I couldn't promote anything. I had no idea. And, and studying with Marlon and Jonathan on the road was not only a blessing of friendship, but they also taught me direct marketing. And I got the net. I've always understand that the net is about the people out there watching what you're doing. I mean, if somebody stares at your web page and doesn't take any action, you're dead. It's based on their action, not their watching. And this is such a critical thing. Well, direct marketing is based on them taking an action. So by basing those principles, back in 96, I was able to really forge ahead with business and just look at it from a really common sense perspective, reading all the great masters, you know, the traditionalists, Dan Kennedy, Jay Abraham, you know, Gary Halbert. I mean, I got inundated in the tradition of direct marketing. Claude Hopkins and John Caples from, like, the 20s and the 40s are still biggest influence in all my Internet marketing because they talk about talking to people directly, giving people a real reason to work with you, adding real value, not BS, really focusing on them. 
And those traditions are part of what the Internet is. So while the techniques and things, there are certain aspects of the business do change, and you have to watch, like, you know, emails become a whole different beast because people are spamming like crazy. But it doesn't mean you run away from email because a bunch of people put their noses up. You look at it as a tool and you see if it works effectively. And if the numbers don't work, it's not going to work for you. And uh, just a little sidearm, and I appreciate the compliment, um, what I'm about to present at your seminar I consider is going to be the equivalent of what I presented in 96 for the next five years. I mean, we're laying out a strategy that I've built with my bigger clients. But I said, God, this is my, what I do with big clients and regular folks is the same thing. It's direct marketing. It's not about Fortune 500s. Heck, it's about traditional principles of direct marketing and how to acquire more customers quickly at a lower cost in 30 days or less. That's the bottom line, and that's I'm so excited to be sharing that with you as well. Well, great. I mean, I can't wait to see it because uh, I know you. We've, we talked briefly on the phone yesterday, and uh, you just gave me a little bit of kind of things that you're going to talk about, and uh, you know, it, it's going to be a, a great talk, folks. And I'm not saying that lightly uh, because of the fact that uh, you, again, once you hear Declan talk, you're going to know 100 percent that. Uh, he's the real deal. I mean, he 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 knows this industry better than than anyone I know from from many different aspects, from big business to small business. And uh, you're going to see how the big businesses, uh, their research, development, the money that they spent, can work for you just like it's working for them. And Declan's going to show you how to do that. Now, from there's uh, bef- before we move, before we go uh, go on, I, I just want to cover the the affiliate program side side of it because there's there's a couple of things I want to ask you that are really important I think that many people may not understand on this call but uh, on the affiliate marketing side uh, as far as from the company point of view again let's let's cover the same basic question I asked previously from the affiliate point of view which is what's the major problem that affiliate that companies do with their affiliate program as far as what's the what's the thing that they do the wrong that you see oh uh, it's a great question because it's still um, they go on the old method that affiliate programs is about basically creating a bunch of ads, getting thousands and thousands of people to sign up and sell your product or service. And they sort of sit around and they don't really monitor that as a what I like to call a sales channel. They like to think that people will sign up and they rely on their energy, the affiliate's energy, to take over. And I'll tell you, I just did this with a major client. I can't name the name, but we doubled their sales in three months because they basically had a bank of affiliates, but they weren't encouraging them. They weren't interacting with them. They weren't calling them. And they were trying to treat everybody the same. I mean, they had twenty or 30,000 affiliates, but, you know, anybody in the game today knows you have, if you're lucky, you have 30 to 40 really good resellers. And really, quite honestly, what what the game is right now in affiliate programs is about breaking it into about thirds. One third of your affiliates probably are two or three of your top affiliates. I mean, these are people who just are, it's an awesome deal for them, it's an awesome deal for you. The next third are your, the ten remaining affiliates who are generating a lot of sales, and the final third are the masses who are not to be ignored, but most people focus on that final third. They sign people up, they don't do a thing. I mean, I'm not talking about sending some random newsletter. I mean, looking at your stats, looking at your conversions. How many impressions did you get? How many people clicked? and how many people converted, A, B, C, right offer to the right list at the right time, and going and mining them and working with them. In fact, I think my friend Marlon Sanders is probably doing it as one of the best I've seen because he's constantly, all he does is work in his affiliate network. And that's why people remember him and they work well for him. And people who do it really well, who really focus on their affiliate channel, have a tremendous success, and I think most of them are, they think affiliate programs is like you plug, play, it's an instant cash machine, and frankly, all of us who've run good affiliate programs know when it's optimized is doing that, but the competition's harder now, so it's good to go out, do some of the footwork, don't just rely on the people that sign up when you do your basic. You have just listened to a portion of this big seminar interview. To get the complete version, simply go to www.seminarsecrets.com. Find out how you can attend the next Internet Marketing Big Seminar. And for a very special offer you can't refuse, visit www.seminarsecrets.com.